Good afternoon, everybody. This is Crystal with Crystal's Creations. Wake up. How are you all doing? There's an end. Ha ha. I will sit and wait. Hi, Kim. How are you doing? That's good. Glad to hear you're doing good. I don't know how much of this wonderful black red heart crocheting string I will need. Huh. We'll call that good. Hi, Debbie J. Hi, Tony. So I, let's see. So I am making that small square one right there, that little small one. But I did, yesterday, I made this guy, this big one, the big hexagon one. And I used my own Christmas card stock by Recollections. There's the bottom. There's the inside. So I did every other. Isn't that cute? So in here, so these cannot be collapsed down. You cannot put them, you can put them in a box, in a small box, and put them in the mail. But these cannot be, hi, Elizabeth. So you cannot fold these down. You cannot, you know, you can't do this. You can't, you know, whatever. So, yeah, you cannot fold them down. So I checked. <laughs> So, but I did want to show you that these have like a small little, little line. It looks like they could be folded down, but it's for putting, um, like say your little decorative designer series paper is for putting these things on for making your stuff looking pretty and stuff like that. So that's what that's for. So I just thought I'd let you guys know. So in case you're wondering, so I have all of my stuff. So I'm going to lower this. I'm going to go ahead and get my phone on and get my little darning needle out and everything else and stuff like that. So I have everything ready to go. And let's see, where am I at? Am I on here somewhere? Well, I guess I have to go to my channel, huh? Is that it? Okay, it's a chat box. I guess that's it. Okay, so I have tried so I do want to let you guys know, I tried a needle like this, these plastic ones, and I tried a bigger one than this one, and it ripped right through my cardstock. And then I realized I needed to double um, my cardstock, and so I did. Now this one actually, the eye of this one actually squeezes, so which is good, but... I still prefer, I would still recommend if you guys get these dies, I still would recommend you get something smaller, such as these that I got at, um, I got these at uh, um, Walmart yesterday in their um, floss and crocheting flossy department. So that is what I did. And this black stuff is by Red Heart. And and what? Yeah, this one actually is perfect. This slides right through the hole. It doesn't rip the hole or anything else like that. What size a needle? I don't know. It's, uh, let me just get my trusty ruler out and measure it. <laughs> I don't know. 
Let's see. Uh, it's uh no. <laughs> this needle is about two inches long. Yeah. By about I don't know. God, it's it's small. The size of the eye? I have no clue, Tony. I don't know the size of the eye. It's big enough for me to slide the the string right through. I'm not very good at this stuff, Tony. I don't know. It didn't say what the size of the eyes were on here. It just, it has, it came with a package. I'm not going to go digging through my trash to find it, but it didn't tell me what the size of the eyes were on the package. It didn't tell me. It, it, it just said it was by Bori. Does that name ring a bell? Bori? So I just slide my little... Well, should... I know, right? Like I should have dug through my trash before if I would have known. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm going to lick my string. Oh, goodness. So this eye really isn't that big because now I can't slide this through very well. Okay, so we're just going to take it through this way, the normal way. Because I guess that eye is not very big. So I have no clue. I am not a seamstress, and so what I do so that this doesn't slide out, I tie a knot because I've had that happen to me more than once because I don't want that to happen because trust me, these holes are big enough. This will slide right through. Okay, that should work. Okay, so now... So what? If you roll the end through some glue, it will stiffen and keep it from, oh, okay. Oh, good tip. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. So I'm going to start with my red. Okay. So we're going to start here. Line up our holes. Okay. And I'm just going to go like so. Okay. And then what I like to do is so this doesn't come off is I know I like to tie it off beforehand. That's how I crochet too. And I thought this black would look better than what I used yesterday. That silver stuff kept coming off and stuff like that. So this should hold. So it shouldn't come out. This black will make everything else pop out. Okay, so that's good. So, so now we're now that we went that way, we're going to come through this way. Now, I know there's many different styles of stitching. I'm not the most fancier stitcher on the face of the planet, so I don't know what kind of stitching I'm doing. I'm just going in one way and out the other. Oop, oop. Don't get tangled. So then there, and sometimes you get tangled and you have to stop and detangle yourself. And see, I got tangled. Of course I did. Ah, uh, there, I'm untangled. That was easy to do. Okay. Back this way. 
see if I go slow. It's a it's a red heart sewing, a red heart crocheting thread, Tony. That's what it is. Okay. And then we're gonna go back this way. And then one more hole. Okay, and now I'm going to go back and go through it twice because it holds better if you go through twice. And then this way. Okay. And then that way. And this stuff, you can get a whole roll of it at Walmart for $2.07, and it will probably last you forever. All right. Then back this way. So I brought my candy corn in here so I can demonstrate to you guys how you can use these bowls. Okay, so now we are going to add our next bowl. Okay. And we're gonna add the green one. So now we can go like so. This should square off a little bit. Now we're going to add this one. No. It's fashion crochet thread. It is not twine. It's a size three. So it's definitely not twine. It does not feel like twine. So that is not. It's size three. So definitely not a twine. It's, and it, it says to use it, when you crochet with it, it says to use a three and a half millimeter crochet hook. So, and this is what it looks like. So it's definitely not twine. So, no, oh, not twine. And if I can find that piece of, thing that I took out of the trash with that eye needle stuff, which could be right on the top, but then again, I don't know, should be right here, then I can probably tell you guys, because I just bought it yesterday afternoon, maybe it's in the bag. I don't know, I don't see it. I don't see it. Could be that difficult to find. I don't know. I don't see it. Oh well. I tried. <laughs> oh well, that's okay. I tried. Okay, so now we're going to go to this one. Okay, so now we're going to go see this hole. So we want to make sure that we line up this hole with the red and the silver, right? So 
So this is where this gets tricky. So I want to make sure I go through here first. Yep, right there. Now I'm going through that way. Got it. We got it. We got it. Yay. Okay. And then now on that big one, I had to cut my string a few times, but I got the whole bowl done on one strand of string or one strand of sewing thread or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so now we're going to This feels weird other than, you know, I'm used to inking or stamping or, you know, other stuff. Now I feel like I'm doing a, I feel like I'm teaching a sewing class, but. <laughs> huh? Say what? You, what? So you just want me to do two sides and call it quits? That's it? I'm confused. Or I just want to eat the candy corn. Uh, I guess I should have saved the needle stuff, but I wasn't thinking. I didn't know I was going to get asked so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh goodness. That's okay. It's all good. Especially when you're not feeling well. You know, you don't think. Your brain doesn't think when you're not feeling well sometimes, you know. Especially when you're Allergies are licking you, and all that smoke from California is kind of came here. Whatever toxins they brought in. Uh, yeah. So. This is actually pretty easy to do. A lot easier than that hexagon one. And then I'll go through this one one more time. A little easier. Make sure I'm through all those holes. Okay. So now we're going to go up the sides of these. Okay. This is where this gets a little tricky. So we're going to bend this a little bit, but you're going to have to. I guess you do have to bend these a little bit. Ah, well, OK. 
Okay, so now go through the pop 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 pop. Okay, I need to get this. This is not okay. Let's go red. And then we'll get it lined up with the green one. It's kind of how I did it with my hexagon ones. And then they'll start taking shape that way. Okay. Like so. Because these ones are a little bit smaller and a little bit different. Okay. Just went through that hole. Hold on. Let me. Okay. And then this one. And do you guys see how I'm kind of doing this? Do you want me to do the whole? Uh-oh, uh-oh. What did we do? Ooh, we're tangled. Hold on. Hold that thought. Uh, it happens even when you crochet. Even when you're a, a, it happens when I do dog blankets too. It's it's what happens. I have to stop and untangle my yarn all the time. So I have a question. Do you guys want me to do all four sides, the other two too? And then decorate it and everything. I mean, I can. So, Elizabeth, if you're on, what, what time are we doing that thing later? So that way I know. I mean, this one won't take long at all, really, if I sit here and do the whole thing. Okay, so now I'm going to double it up. Oop. No, you don't. No, you don't. The tricky part is to hold it and make sure it doesn't move on you all the time. Okay, do all the sides. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Okay, I will. I will do that. I will sit here. You guys can keep me company by chatting away, I guess. <laughs> okay. And then there. What happened? What happened? What I do? Uh oh. And then sometimes we make mistakes and we don't know what we did. And this is where I don't know where it I did. Oh, I see what I did. What did I do? Ah, I went through the red hole. I didn't go through, when I went through the second time around, I didn't go through the green hole. 
Uh, okay. That's what I must have not did. So there's that. Okay. You are driving me crazy, little piece of string. Okay. Oh, so we're on the inside. Okay. Now I see. So here, I need to go there, but I need to line it up with the hole. So red, there we go, there we go, now I got it. There. The green, red, that one's good. Uh, always helps to always pay attention and make sure your holes are always lined up. Green, red, good, that one's good, got that one. Okay, and now I'm gonna go through the bottom again. All three of them, make sure I do this. Or trying to find my bottom hole. There it is. Got it. There. Okay. Got that hole. So now, what I like to do sometimes is I go through... I will, well, I like to, if I can get it to work, as I go back through another hole to tie this off. Okay. And then. See if I can do this. Well, or not. It did it did it for me yesterday. I was able to do this yesterday, but it's not gonna let me do it today. Okay, now that we're back on the outside, I think we're okay. So we're going to go ahead and just tie it off right here. Just do it that way. That's what we'll do. And we'll hide it, hide it in the corners. <laughs> oh. Now, actually, what you can do is take embossing powder even and go all the way around it and hide it and stuff too. Other people have done that too. Okay, and now we can start off on our other ones. So now we're going to take another green and we're going to start off on the bottom. We're going to start here. Hi, Dawn. Oh, thank you. Oh, you got the craft fair today? Oh, oh yeah. Hi, what? Is there someone else on too? Did I miss somebody? Oh, hi, Marguerite. Um, is there a reason not to score the sides? Well, I think this, I don't think you score the sides. There was no PDF file. 
the, there was, I didn't find any directions for this, but I think it's just to put your little decoration in the middle like that. You know, your little decoration or something. I don't know. But you could still probably bend it a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. So I guess they just expect us to figure it out on ourselves. But I could not find a PDF file or nothing. But yeah. Yeah. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and just try and bend it a little bit. Just to see if that helps a little. That might help. Okay. So now we're going to go through this hole. And then we're going to tie this off a little bit. It does come out. Oh, sorry. Hope that didn't kill your guys' eardrums. Okay. We got this. No big deal. Okay. Now we're going to go through this second hole. Ow. Damn. That hurt. <sighs> okay. Goodness. And it does, it gets a little harder as you go along, though. But it is easier to do the bottoms first than it is, I find. Uh. Okay, so now we're done with that side. Now we're going to go back a second time around. It gets it extra hold. Okay, there. Okay, through there. So now I go through here. There's what? Oh, wow. That's amazing, Doug. Yeah, these dies, Dawn, you can actually cut. Um, I was telling them earlier that you can use these to cut cork and thin sheets of metal with them, too, and make bowls out of metal with these, too. I should get your juices flowing with that. But when you do thin sheets of metal, I'm not sure 
what um what you would use to stitch with that probably leather strap maybe i would use leather straps to stitch those together because that would hold metal together better i would think oh uh, no you don't you did not go through my hole that was the problem all along oh no what'd you do Another mistake. Oh, uh. really. Okay, going through the green hole. Yes. Now, back through all three of these again. Comes the tricky part. So green, red, and silver. No. Okay. So now we're going to attach these two sides. Is going to be on top now. Okay. Oh, and then I think a couple of times yesterday when I was stitching that big hexagon one, my needle went flying and I had to go looking for it. It's in the, my, my needle fell off of the string. So this is some kind of a craft thing you can do while watching TV, too. That's what I did last night, trying to finish that other one yesterday. By just putting it together. Okay, so now we're going to go back down again. I mean, I've made boxes too before by using my scoreboard. I guess this is a way of making it, I guess, easier, I guess. I don't know. Whoops. Um, in a roundabout way. Or if you don't like to stitch, I guess you could just use your scoreboard and do it that way and do 
to a bunch of scoring. Okay, now I gotta go through that one, which I believe. Is, come on, don't do this to me. There we go. <sighs> All right. Now we're going to go through the bottom again. Actually, we probably don't need to because that one's in there pretty good. So now we're going to tie this off. And then we're going to add a red one. Then we'll be done. With all four sides, yay! You guys are timing me. Okay, bottom and side. I think I will fold these in better. Let's see if that doesn't help. Oh, bottom. Side, side, bottom. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, last red one. This should have gone through all of them. Yep. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, come on. I'm sure some of you are seeing me struggle and you're probably going, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Don't want to go down that road. Came in from okay, do it that way. Okay, okay. so now. This way. So this is the one where we have to attach to both green sides. Hey. Okay, and then another one where we have to go through all the holes. And then we're going to go up this side. So I need to go through the second hole. Sure. Is this the second one? No, I can't. <sighs> Told you this last one is the hardest. <sighs> okay. 
try and get this lined up on the outside so I can see what I'm doing on the inside. So what's everybody? Ow, ow. Everybody's sitting me. Okay. So what? Oh, thank you, Debbie. What? Oh. Oh, you're getting some rain now? Ooh, nice. <laughs> Much needed rain, maybe? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Okay, one more, the top hole. And then we're going to do a double stitch and go over on make our way to the other side. And then it will be finished. And then, hi Cordelia. Sorry if I missed you. I was so busy stitching away. <laughs> Thank you. Oops, 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 oops. No, no, don't put anybody in timeout now. Oh, wow. Yeah, it does that in our neighborhood too. It'll leave a dry area like that too in our neighborhood where sometimes we'll one of us in our neighborhood will get rain, and sometimes we won't. Okay. I know I'm not, I shouldn't do this right hand. Hey, people, male can wait. <laughs> okay, and then one more through. Where's that other hole at? There it is. There we go, found it. Okay. Oh yeah, I need to go this way, I forgot. There for a second, I forgot which way I was supposed to go. Okay. Come on. This is, 
one line up for me. Oh, and just so you guys know, I did double these up too. I don't know if I said that. I can't remember if I told you. I doubled these up. Because it does make it easier to stitch too. No, speak this one. Now we get to go up this side and then she will be complete. This hole. Okay, green and then red on the outside. Okay, now we're getting it. <sighs> closing in. We're closing in, guys. Do I have enough to make it back down again? We shall see. Okay, so now we're going to go back down. Okay, and then it will be.
Oh, I think I missed a hole. Now, I think next time, I think I'm going to take my embossing tool and score, my scoring tool, I should say, and really score those sides just to give them a little extra bend. But I think other than that, those sides are done. And then I'm going to tie this off on the inside a little bit. Well, I can't get down in there, so... Wow, that there has got to be an easier way to make this more square because I don't like it's not that I don't know. It doesn't look square, square <laughs> to me. What? This is one of those projects I do believe I will admire from a distance. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I will definitely do this again, and I will get better. I mean, I haven't stitched in a while. I mean, my goodness. And I told my daughter before she went off to college, I wanted to get into flossing, like some of that floss tube stuff. And it's like, it's like, what did I tell myself? Okay, let's see if this is upside down, because I don't want to put it on upside down, but... Oh, I don't know how to do those closing scene, the clothing scene, Cordelia. You're going way above my head, girlfriend. Yeah, that's that stitching stuff, whatever you're talking about, is way above my head. You just went in one ear and out the other. I have no clue. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know this stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I'm totally clueless. You could put a stitch on the top holes too if you wanted to, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna take some of our pretty Spellbinders cardstock that looks pretty, and I'm gonna go around the outer edge. Now, I probably, I don't know if I'm going to put this one on Instagram because I think I can do better than this one. Wait, why does this one have, I put one up upside down, you guys. Oh my gosh. This one has holes in this one. Oh, yeah, it does. Never mind. Never mind. I'm just, never mind. I'm just brain dead. I'm brain dead today. Again. I don't know what I'm doing. Just all the stitching got to me. No. <laughs> I got stitch brain. That's what I got. No, <laughs> no, I'm going to do a better one than this one. I think I'll do like black, I don't know, black or white cardstock and then do something better than this. 
I don't know. I gotta do. I gotta have to do something different because this. I thought this. It's just not. I don't know. Just not lining up like I want it to. Make sure I don't put these on upside down. And I like these little, like, square blocks, like quilter blocks that we had on our paper, Spellbinders paper that we got. But kind of gives you an idea what you can do. But, and then I'll show you what you can do. Okay, now. These, you could put your little treats, okay? <laughs> Let's see if this works. Oh, there you go. There, hey, it holds. It holds. It's not falling out. Hey, it's pretty sturdy. Wow. That's pretty good. That holds. You could even probably add a handle to this and pass these out to the kids in the neighborhood for Halloween, make a Halloween basket out of this. That's why this got my head churning. I was like, okay, I'm going to make some Halloween ones too. So, because I have Halloween card stock because I want to make a Halloween one. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Cordelia. Thank you, Dawn. I know, right? <laughs> oh no, my battery's dead. Oh no, I'm gonna die over here. We're gonna, if I die before I plug this in, you know what happened, okay? Oh shoot, battery is going dead. I forgot to plug me in. Oh no, I plugged in now. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you. Yeah, what a great idea, but you can make Halloween ones, and I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make some Halloween baskets with these. That would be really cute, especially with with uh, this one. This one would make a cute Halloween basket. That would be really cool. So I have lots of kids in our neighborhood, but I don't know what size a bottom that would take. Definitely not this one. Because this one makes three. So I'm assuming the square one, I think. Yep. See you guys all later, I guess, on Zoomy. I'll be there. And, uh, Yeah. Did you get both of them, Debbie? You have both of them? The, uh, the, this one too? That one too? The hexagon one? And the, the threesome one? Just the one. Oh, okay. So you just got the, you just got this one? Or the hexagon? I don't know. Oh, just the three. Uh, Spellbinder sent me both of them. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> they did. But yeah, they sent me both. Yeah, but yeah, so kind of fun because I'll be doing lots of baskets. And then I thought, well, I'll just make some Christmas bowls for my family for Christmas, I guess, this year. Oh, you got the hexagon bowl. Oh, okay. Oh, fun. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one was actually kind of easy, too, but it takes a while. So. You got the hexagon one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
So anyways, all right. I will see you guys all later today. And um, I will talk to you later. Um, sorry, I gotta, you're welcome. And I need to go take care of the nose. So talk to you later. Bye. Thank y'all. Love you. Bye.